Welcome back to Baron's New Vegas Gun Guide, and this is the second episode on shotguns, one of my favorite class of weapons in New Vegas. Now this gun is probably more familiar to most places, since its unique variant is included in the courier stash, and we will talk about it. And in the beginning of the game, most people get it quite quickly. Of course, it's the caravan shotgun, a mainstay of the Brahmin caravaner, Crimson caravan, all those folks. It's a rusted and busted shotgun, and has seen a lot of use, and we'll see plenty more in the courier's hand. It's a basic over-under shotgun with design inspirations from the Winchester Model 101 and the auto sealing over-unders. Although the caravan shotgun is far from what you'd buy on the shelf. It has been corroded and repaired with all sorts of bits. It has a pipe clamp and some sort of stiff wrap. It's a far cry from the ornate and well-crafted German-made auto ceilings, but not far off for the 1963 Model 101, which was cheap and would definitely show this amount of wear for its age in uh, the 23rd century. As for the history of over-under shotguns, they are quite new. Some say as early as the 1880s, made by John Moses Browning, but the company itself reports that the Browning Superposed was the first production over under, which was first produced in 1931. Now, you may ask what are the benefits for an over under versus a side by side double barrel shotgun? Well, the over under have no offset when shooting, one barrel opposed to the other. The side by side, it's obviously you're firing slightly off center. And for that reason, most of them are used for bird hunting, at least for people that I know. And they're used in modernity because there's a lot of people that don't want to bother with the semi-auto restrictions that there are on bird hunting, which is a whole thing in its different states. It's complicated. So most people just stick to the old classics. Now with most guns in this game, there's some sort of logic to why they do more or less damage chambered in the same round. With the caravan shotgun, it's a shorter barrel, so it gets less damage, less acceleration of the rounds, all that thing. But it's not much. 45 damage with 6.4 damage per pellet since it's firing 7 pellets. And if you account for the 20% damage increase due to the regular shells, that's 54 damage and 7.7 .7 damage per pellet, which is not terrible. Especially when you consider it's only 10% less than its biggest competitor, the single shotgun. Now, as opposed to the single shotgun, it also has a lower DPS, 144.6 or 173 with the 20% damage increase from the standard rounds. But with two shells and two barrels, the adjusted DPS is 42.4 or 50.6, 20%, which is double the single shotgun, not surprisingly. Emptying both barrels at a rate of 3.2 barrels or shots per second and reloading in a much quicker 1.5 seconds. Now, sadly, depending on your own perspective, the shorter barrel means more spread, which might be good and might be bad. It means you do hit a wider range of things or something that's smaller that you don't normally hit. And that spread is 2.2, about as much as the 12.7 millimeter SMG. Now, that does mean more margin for error, but getting full damage is much harder unless your target is big, like a super mutant or for some crazy reason if you're fighting a death claw. But it does have its advantages in those cases. Now, for using it with your iron sights, unlike the single shotgun and with its little bead, the iron sight of the caravan shotgun has been repaired in a very jury-rigged manner, because the iron sight, or at least the rear run, is a screw. The center line for the shotgun is the third line from the bottom, or the third screw line from the bottom. And if you don't want to use that, there's vats, especially since the screw obscures a lot of the enemy. For vats, it's much cheaper, at 20 AP for one shot, which is a much higher efficiency of 2.3 damage per AP, or around 2.7 damage per AP with the standard rounds, which is so much better than the single shotgun, putting it in the dust. Now for crits, the caravan shotgun is pretty standard. It's got a times 1% multiplier, and for shotguns, the crits are determined once you shoot, not whenever you impact, which means each shot, regardless of the number of projectiles, has the same crit chance. And it does deal 6 damage per pellet. With 7 projectiles, that makes an additional 42 crit damage. Now this is as far as I can tell, I don't have any math supporting this, but it's most likely. 
with its damage stats and its sight out of the way, how does a shotgun work for your wallet? Now, unlike the single shotgun, the caravan is more expensive but light. At three pounds, but costing 675 base, it's the inverse of the other. Additionally, it has a higher gun requirement at 25, but lower strength requirement at three. This arguably makes them better for use as a jury rig fodder, but we'll go away from that and talk more about the ammo. The ammo is the same 20 gauge, one cap per round of standard 20 gauge with 1.2 times damage and seven projectiles. It has the magnum round at two caps per round and seven projectiles for 1.3 times damage and an enemy reduction of armor, or DT, by two, but it increases the wear by 15%. And lastly, at least in the base game, are slug rounds, which concentrate the damage into one projectile and decrease the spread to 35% of the original value. Now, we got to remember that the crit damage of six still only applies even though the round does 45, or at least the slug round does 45. In total, it can fire a respectable 695 standard and slug rounds, but only 604 magnum rounds, which is not actually that bad. Now, there is another version, which comes from the Courier Stash, and that is the Sturdy Caravan Shotgun. It does 50 damage, costs 27 AP to shoot, but has a spread of 4, almost twice as bad as the Caravan Shotgun, or bad or good, depends how you look at it but it does have a exceptional durability at 1,495 standard of slug shots and 1,300 magnum rounds. The biggest benefit, however, is it's free and it comes fully repaired. Now the caravan shotgun is carried by the caravan companion, which is Cass. She has her own shotgun that's like the standard one, except it uses the special companion ammo. And the caravan shotgun can unsurprisingly be found with Caravan guards, camp forlorn hope troopers carry them, fiends, escaped convicts, gunrunner guards, and the Aerotech office park has a fixed one in Suite 200. And also most merchants, like the single shotgun, carry this weapon. In the end, this is a great shotgun. Until you get a pump shotgun, especially for a 20 gauge, but it will struggle with armor and get reduced to a pair of fodder just as quickly as any other gun once you start bringing in the bigger firepower. That being said, a lot of people like it more, and having two barrels will definitely save you a lot more than only having one. Thank you for watching. See you around next time.